Hi guys, so this morning I'm going to start off with um, a small die of the month from uh, Spellbinders. I think it will be something we can work up kind of quickly here. So I'm just going to make a simple card using this little guy. Um, so I haven't really decided what papers or anything I'm going to use. You know, I like using dark colors. This is really cute with the kind of light color background and a little more fall on the top. Um, let me think about it, but uh, if I have any links in the description box, there will be affiliate links, which means I'll make a small commission if you purchase any items through those links, so thank you guys. And um, so this one, again, it just has like these cute little borders that you're going to kind of match up to make kind of like a diamond shape. And then um, there's two different types of borders on that one, so you can do this one that's just leaves, this one that's just um, like little leaves plus these little flower bits and then or stems and then you would cut out all these little flowers and kind of match them up within the little stems if you want to do that I think I'm gonna make it a little bit quicker so I'm gonna go with this guy um, so this one will spend a little more time because you have to put them you know with the stems here I'm just gonna scatter them all throughout so I'll, I'll probably do that you have the letters that can make hello maybe the word you and then there's the word thank so there's an L H E O U and the Y there um, I guess there's other words you can make up if uh, that works for you Maybe just like hey, but you know it's a little informal, I suppose. <laughs> and um, and uh, yeah, so let me just grab some uh, paper and we'll get started. Okay, so this might seem like a lot of colors, but when I was looking at it, and I don't know, something about it just reminds me of, like the Mexican hand embroidery, like just the embroidery that we like to do. So it's usually on maybe a dark or light background, and then it has like lots of colors, greens and pink, you know, oh, pink, I didn't grab any pink. I did um, green for the, vi the vines, but everything else is gonna be yellow, orange, a deep blue, a light blue, kind of a turquoise, purple, I have a little scrap of red, because we don't need that much of each thing. And I'll probably do the lettering in gold, I'm not sure yet, but I'll put that to the side. And my card base, is going to be this pretty blue because I think that's a gorgeous color. So I'm going to cut this just to make a simple standard A2 size card. And so I'm going to cut it at five and a half inches. So we have eight and a half by five and a half. The other day I was talking about um, the tonic paper is standard A2 size, which is really nice because a lot of times A4 size paper, like what they usually do in the UK, is only eight and a quarter ish wide we need eight and a half right to make a standard a two size card i mean you can still fold it in half and it'll still fit in your envelope it's just gonna be a little bit smaller um but in that case because it's oh and i, I hope i'm explaining myself well because it's only eight and a quarter inches if you want to get a standard a two size you have to cut at five and a half inches this way you know what i'm saying thickness and then cut it down to eight and a half and you're wasting all of this so you can't get two pieces of cardstock that are standard A2 from an A4, which is kind of a bummer. You would think, oh, it's bigger paper, and it is bigger paper, but it's not wide enough. It's longer, but it's not wider. So that's just kind of, hopefully that makes sense. I just always wanted to talk about that. And then I'm gonna top it with this um, black piece that's gonna be four by five and a quarter. And I didn't really measure the dies, but I'm assuming they work <laughs> on this size paper. Um, again, you can score your card. I'm just going to fold it right in half. And I'm going to stick that down. I guess I'll stick it down right now. I have nothing else to do. <laughs> I can just get to it. Have you ever, ever watch Rango? I remember the movie. We bought it. I don't know. Because back in the day, it used to be like, just buy them because we never really went to the movies. And... Um, and it was kind of a weird movie, but then uh, Doran really loved it because it was in his cowboy phase anyway, so he liked watching that. And uh, I just like the way Beans, the little girl in the movie, talks. She's so cute. She says, Wednesday's when we all get to it. All right, so <laughs> let's just get to it. Here's. And so I have a lot of these colors already that are kind of pieces, but oh well. Um, I didn't want to dig through a lot of my scraps. I can see green that's almost similar right now. How big is this? Yeah. So I'm gonna cut out two of this guy. Again, you can do this one and, and you just have to match up your little flower buds to these little stems that are sticking out. But I'm just gonna go with this guy for now. Hmm, you know what? I can probably do both of them at the same time. Let's see. Oh, my hair. Okay. 
I heard some rambling. It's literally seven o'clock. I took a little bit longer this morning because I put some beans to cook. And then I heard a loud thud. So maybe somebody fell out of bed. I have no idea what happened. All right. Which is a bummer because I have work to do. I like to get up early and now these kids are going to make that a little harder. Okay. Nope, that's not going to do it. Where's my pokey? Ooh, this is delicate. Well, it's thin. I forgot about that. I'm like, let me just pull this out of here. No, no, no. And we have our two. Oopsie, sorry. Cute. And the thing is, you're going to put it together like this, basically. On your card base, however is that you want to do it. I'm not sure yet. We should probably stick it down, though, so that we can just add our other stuff. Okay. Either way, it's going to go like this or like this. So either way, we're going to stick it down the same way. I'm just trying to see whereabouts. I'm just right about there. I was if you have a diamond cut out, which I probably do, um, you can make a shaker with that. <laughs> you can make a shaker. Oh, I'm being silly. Eh. Oh, well. I was going to say I can um, make this so it only sticks down in the center. And then the leaves can have a little bit of play, you know? But I already put the glue on my hand. And I'm gonna use it. People are asking how I like this glue. Because I just started using it. I love it. It dries. <laughs> Not that it dries, it sticks really fast. Oh, I guess it dries fast too. So if you're planning on using it and you're new to paper crafting, you have to be very careful. It just sticks down really fast. The only time I've had any kind of play is when I stuck it with some metallic paper because metallic paper is a little bit um, slick, right? So you had a little bit of a second to play with it. But if you're putting it like this on this, um, be careful. <laughs> that's all I'm going to say about that. Okay. Well, that's not too bad. And I noticed in the, in the um, little image here, they put little flowers wherever this got stuck so that it would be less noticeable. That little gap. If there's a gap, I probably could have lined it up a little better. See? I can tell you, this stuff sticks like boom. <laughs> okay. Ooh, there was not that much glue on it, so that's good. I was able to manipulate a little bit. Okay. Okay, so all I'm going to do now is take a bunch of the little tiny flowers and just cut them out. Now, some of them are similar. This one looks like maybe like a tulip bud. This one has, it's a little bit bigger and it has like layers you can layer over it. Um, it has, and they did several of them. So you can cut out a bunch of them at once. You know what I'm saying? You don't have to like, okay, one or, I mean, if you look, these are all basically the same as what's going on up here. And then there's some extra leaves too. That's cute. Okay, so, um, again, I'm just going to grab whatever. I don't know how much red, but let's put that one and then maybe some here. Just uh, that's probably enough with the red. I'll cut out these guys. I'll do some with the orange, some of the purple, some of the blue. I'll just have a little pile of flowers here when we come back. Really quick, I just want to show you that I'm cutting a couple sets at a time. So, like, I'll take, I don't even need that much of any one of these. And I really like the little guys and then the ones that look like flowers, little posy looking ones. So that's probably what I'll focus on cutting out. There's some larger ones of the the one that just looks like like this. There's some larger ones of that. But I'm just going to cut them like this and then just a couple sets at a time. And I'm almost done. I mean, literally, I just rolled those two out. Roll these two and I think I need the purple and the light blue. And that's it. Okay, I have my last little bits here. I mean, that took... Not very long because again, I popped them all out about the same time and I'm just using these as intended um, I know last time we did some fun stamping with like some mandala looking stamps, which was fun that we cut out of the last month's Small die, but I have my little pile of flowers and I'm just gonna stick them down wherever I feel like so I'm gonna bring this guy back and I'm probably gonna do I'm Trying to think I'm gonna do thank you or however, but either way we're gonna decorate this front piece here and So some of these guys you can, I want my sticky tool, um, layer up if you want to do that. You know, 
Um, I kind of just want to use them individually as little flowers, so I'm just going to put them here and there wherever and hopefully that works out. So, maybe I'll start with the larger, the ones that look like flowers already. I don't really know what I want to do. <laughs> Let me start putting ones in those little gaps, I guess. Actually, that's what they say on the back to put, to cover the little gaps. That's kind of a lot of glue. I know there's going to be one like up here somewhere. Okay, there and... Oopsie. I just want to make sure that's facing the right way. And what I mean by facing the right way is the, um, everyone knows that whenever you cut with a die, it kind of rounds out the top part, but then it makes it rougher on the bottom side, like a rougher cut. And so that's just what I was looking for. And I'll put that one there. And I'm just going to go from here. They don't all have to be like in the corners and they're, or even right on that vine. So cute already. Like, it's just adding so much. And if you look up Mexican hand embroidery, you'll see what I'm talking about. It's really pretty stuff. Um, again, I really like these little posies, so I'm kind of going with those. Oh, nope. I have a red one there. Oh, dark blue. I haven't used that one yet. I haven't used purple yet either. Let's put that one down here. Nope. <laughs> it really wants to stick to my posies. So those are so cute. Okay, what else do we need? Um, let me see what these might look like. Yeah. So cute. Maybe a little one next to him. All right, we just had a red one. You know what? I want red to stand out, so maybe we'll put that. Oh my gosh, adorable. And then, like I said, they have little extra leaves, too, that you can cut out if you want to do that. And I'm thinking maybe he needs one more with that same little... area. Cute. So I'll just go around and keep doing basically what you just saw me do. <laughs> Maybe add another, what do we need here? Oh, orange. We haven't used orange yet. And then I'll fill in, you know, just like a little flower here and there, like around here. Uh, let's see, maybe like a little yellow guy. When people ask where I get this pokey tool. Um, I've been using it forever. Um, it's a diamond press pokey tool. I think it's sold out right now on mydiamondpress.com, but, um, it's available on HSN. Of course, you get the better deal on my diamond press for the, you know, whenever it comes out there. All right, so I'm just going to continue just placing these, and I'll be back. Okay, that is really cute. Did not take too long, and I think I'm happy with what, you know, I just noticed this gap here needs a little something. Um, put another red one there. Cute. And I just literally just went through and just dab, dab, dab wherever I felt like I put one. There's a couple there, a couple there, just one here. You know, flowers grow kind of, they do whatever they want. So cute. That looks very much like what I was going for, so I'm happy with that. Okay. And then I'm just going to use, I guess this uh, gold, it's just a matte gold paper, and I'm going to cut out the thank and the Y-O-U. <laughs> I was thinking, what other words can you make? Lou, you know someone named Lou? You got that? L-O-U <laughs> or something. Uh, Y-O-U. Um, holy, I guess. <laughs> holy moly. I don't know what you want to do. Um, heh. H-E-H, just like people say when they're like, heh. <laughs> anyway, it's just a fun assortment of letters. Um, okay. So I'm just going to stick these down so I can run them through at the same time. And that they don't move. Of course, the marquee, you can kind of see what you're doing anyway, so. But it's just easier to do this so I can pick it up like this instead of having to be careful with it for the moment, for the time being here. And I'm just going to run this through. And I'll be right back. Okay. I'm trying to see if the O has a direction. Okay. So I'm telling you, the marquee has a lot of power to it. So the little ejector buttons that are on here are kind of on the letters a little bit. 
Um, I'll say also, if you want to obviously dress up your little flowers, you can add your drops, your rhinestones, all kinds of fun things you can pop in there. Let's see where we got. And I'm, I'm sure those are called ejector buttons. <laughs> I'm sure the company is there like, okay, we need the ejector buttons. Or, yeah, they're not even buttons. I don't know. Okay. Oh, that looks so pretty. I was gonna say, if you want it some more, you know, to be a little more bold, you can cut it out twice and then like with a different color and kind of do a drop shadow or something. But that looks so pretty. Aww. And then of course, when I go stick down the Y O U, I'm going to make sure the O is centered first and then put the Y and the U on the opposite sides. But that's when I actually go to glue it. And I just want to see kind of what I'm doing. So that's definitely going to be like here. I might be able to just get some glue on this. This is a very fine tip. So, if I can do that, I prefer to do that and not stick it on my hand first. Again, I'm not really sticking it down quite yet because you want to be careful with this stuff. That's good. Just trying to get some of that extra glue. And then, well, just to be just on the inside of that. Okay, so I'm not going to mess with these right now. I'm just looking at this. So I did have a lot of pieces. Cutting it out was pretty quick. Um, the only time consuming part is just deciding where I want to put the little flowers. I was like, oh, maybe this one. And then I just kind of went with it after that, to be honest. I just was making sure that I had the colors that I wanted to use. Okay. Mm-mm. It might be a little bit no, it should be okay. Alright. Now if you are very specific, you can definitely put a a um a ruler, you know, get your little ruler and make a little line there for you, but that's never been me, <laughs> so I'm just eyeballing. Not like that. That looks pretty good. It's just that this has that little stem and then this guy's going out so it gets closer to the letters, you know, I mean to the flowers. So it made it look crooked, but then when I look at it, I'm like, no, it's not crooked. So just how it is. Thank you. I'm trying to wipe off some of that glue. Okay. So pretty. And I have plenty of little flowers left over. I wanted to add some more like within the thank and the you. That'd be really cute too. Um, yeah, no, I have these kind of things that you're supposed to, you can use with your stickers or layering guides. I don't know, but either way I could, you know, use this thing to kind of help me line up and it has a really thick ridge on it. These are from We Are Memory Keepers, but I got them at um, Tuesday morning and I never use them, but they're here. <laughs> I have them here to use if I wanted. So pretty. I love that Mexican embroidery look. So thanks for watching, guys. Um, I'll have links in the description box. If you have any questions, please leave them. Oh, I did want to mention if you are part of the Value Club or if you want to sign up for one of the Value Clubs, you do get a free stamp set this month that coordinates back to the large stamp set of the month. And um, it's like a sprinkles that go with the cake. <laughs> so the next thing I'll do with Spellbinders is the cake. Keep an eye out later today for the Tonic um, uh, Craft Kit 36 review. I should start it right when I'm done right now. <laughs> All right. See you guys at the next one. Bye now. <laughs>